going guys? So today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Today I'm going to do a, a video log. So uh, occasionally I get uh, requests to do video logs about uh, various topics. And today I'm going to do a video log about um, kind of the, the first dirt bikes that I had in, in my life. And, and maybe just rolling right down the list until today. So just jumping right into it. I'm going to roll in some footage here or roll in some pictures. Uh, the first dirt bike that I had really any experience on is this 1975 Honda 250 XL. Uh, my dad still has this thing sitting in his shop and it's a beast. It's heavy, it's slow, um, it's a four stroke obviously, it's very old, 1975, it's older than me. Um, and that's the first bike that I had any experience on. So my, mine had a black tank, it didn't have the cool uh, red Honda tank like I've got here, but uh, that was the first bike. Uh, the next bike, and probably the bike that I, I spent the most amount of time on, even as I was a little kid growing up, is this Honda XL500S. My dad had this thing, it's a 1980 or an 81, and he called it Billy Goat. And I grew up on this bike, sitting up there kind of on the gas tank, holding on to the little, you know, gold belt debruiser uh, bumper that my dad put on the handlebars. And uh, he'd take us all over the mountains. You know, my sisters sometimes... My big sister would be on the back and I'd be on the front and dad would be tooling around taking us everywhere. So pretty fond memories of this, of these, uh, of this Honda XL500. And like I said, th my dad still has this one too. And the sucker, you go out to the shop, first or second kick, bam, just fires up and, and uh, you can really chug around on that thing. So, uh, then once I, once I, you know, got a, got a family and got my own job and got everything and was kind of a little bit more established. I picked up this, uh, I picked up brand new, this, you know, uh, Yamaha YZ450F. It's a two, it was a 2009, and bought it right off the showroom floor in 2010. Uh, Yamaha changed a bunch of stuff with their motors, and all of a sudden, um, the 2009 was sort of obsolete, so it was, there was a really, really good deal on it. So I picked up this bike, and this is really, if you want to say, my first dirt bike. It really was my first dirt bike, because it was, it was one that I had, you know, first one that I had picked up. And I thought, you know, I've always ridden four-wheelers. Up to that point, I was mostly a four-wheeler kind of guy. You know, racing four-wheelers mostly. Not that I was racing them. I was just riding like Banshees, Warriors, Banshees, anything fast. Um, it's kind of like what I was doing. Um, and then I decided, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to switch over to two wheels. And so I picked up this bike. And it's a great bike. I mean, the 2009 YZ450F is a killer bike. You know, a lot of people would call them bomb-proof as far as 450s go. But, here's the thing. I mean, yes, I was, what, uh, 20, I don't know, 29, 28, 29, and I'm mostly doing off-road riding, you know? In, in fact, at the time, I didn't even know what riding I was going to be doing, but I hadn't, I didn't take this bike to the track, and this is a motocross bike. So this bike is purpose-built for the track. And although a ton of people ride them off-road, it's not, you know, it's, it's not really what it's suited for, right? So it was, um, it was a great bike to start learning on, on one hand. And on the other hand, it's a terrible bike to start learning on. Um, a 454 stroke is a lot of bike. It's a lot of power. It's a lot of traction. And for the most part, it was too much bike, you know, too much bike to start out on. I would have, I would have been better off to start on a 250 four stroke, you know, and that's, uh, depending on your weight and size, that's kind of what I tend to suggest, you know, most of the time when people say, well, what bike should I get? I kind of say maybe like a, you know, like a WR 250 or a, or a, you know, CRX 250 or something like that. Um, something that's relatively cheap. You can pick up, you know, that's a few years old. Um, but this was, this was my bike, and I remember, um, you know, riding it around the hills around my house and trying to figure out places to ride, and the only places that I knew to ride were, you know, back down home, um, which everything kind of got gated off, and then, and then here, where I live now, um, and riding a lot of rocks, riding a lot of dirt roads, and riding a lot of loose terrain, and I remember one day, um, it, it was maybe, what, a month, two months after I bought the bike, and... I'm going to I'm going down a dirt road and I it, my front tire st sort of started to wash out and I stab a foot down to to save it and I remember thinking like 
I've made a big mistake, the, you know, buying a dirt bike. It's just, it, it just isn't that fun. And I remember thinking, dang, maybe I should, you know, get rid of this thing. And it wasn't too long after that, um, maybe a couple of months, and I hardly rode after that. Um, a couple of months later, uh, a good friend invited me. We went on a camping trip, and he introduced me to mountain single track. I'd never done anything like that. And we went to a place here in Utah, and uh, he showed me just some pretty gentle trails, you know, but at the time they were a little bit challenging for me. And I was introduced to mountain riding, mountain single track, you know, high alpine single track riding. And honestly, like that's where it, that's where it really clicked. That's where it clicked for me that this is something that I was going to, I was going to do. And this was something that I was going to love. And I'll never forget that ride. Um, my, the buddy that I was with, he was on a, on a 2008 uh, KTM 250XCW, two-stroke. And it was, you know, kind of an eye-opening experience for me. It was so beautiful in the trees. It was so beautiful, you know, following the trails. And you had rocks to get over and you had roots to get over. And it was just, it was just amazing. And I, I, when I look back and I say, how come I kept riding dirt bikes? What was it that kept me doing it? And what was it that kind of planted the seed that made me love it as much as I do now? It was back to that one single trip on uh, my introduction to single track, uh, you know, mountain single track, to be honest. And it was on this, you know, YZ450F, not like a purpose-built trail bike or off-road bike or enduro bike, um, but that's, that's kind of where it all started. And uh, I won't, I'm, I'm not going to talk about the next bikes that I got into. I'm not going to talk, I'm not going to talk too much about the KTMs that led to that because that's the topic for another video. Um, but the point, the point is really to talk about this, this first bike, this YZ. Um, it was a great bike and I didn't ride it that much to be completely honest. I mean, I, I it didn't have an hour meter and I didn't have an odometer. But as I think back about how much riding I've done since, I really didn't ride it very much. And the guy that bought it from me got it, got a steal, you know, got a really, really clean, awesome bike um, for not a lot of money when I finally sold that thing. So I do have fond memories of it because it was the bike that, that helped me to know, you know what, I'm going to do this. I kind of had my ups and downs on it because it wasn't exactly suited for what I wanted to do, right? You know, it's a track bike. I wasn't, I wasn't, a, I wasn't big into, and I still am not big into going to the track and hitting big jumps. You know, maybe that'll come someday. Maybe I'll get into that a little bit more. Um, but as, as for now, uh, a little bit more conservative. I mean, I, I ride hard, but I'm doing mo more of the, you know, the off-road stuff in the mountains, in the desert. And this bike is not exactly suited for that motocross bike, all, you know, straight up. Um, but it was, it was a good segue for me to move from four wheels over to two wheels and get into the sport. Not the bike I would probably recommend to start off with. And I, I think I'm going to do a, a video um, just kind of talking about 450s in general. Like, do you really need a 450? Um, and I don't think most of us do. And I definitely didn't need one to start off with as I'm really starting into my own of, of getting into off-road dirt biking and stuff. Um, anyway, fond memories though of that bike. I loved it and uh, it was hard to see it go, um, but it was a little bit easier because I already had another bike that I was going to replace it with. So that's just some thoughts on the lineage of bikes that I've had and then I've gone on to have a couple more. Um, but you know, starting with that, that uh, 75 Honda 250XL and then um, riding my dad's um, 500XL. <laughs> You know, these bikes, these bikes were old and then I finally moved in, you know, to this 2009, um, got a brand new in 2010, this 2009 Yamaha, you know, YZ450F. And, uh, that's my, that's my first bike. So really, if I, if I have to say, what is my first bike? What is the first one that I rode? What is the first one that I owned and no one else helped me with? And, and the one that, uh, helped me to see that I, this was going to be hopefully a lifelong, you know, a lifetime love affair with dirt bikes. This is the one, this is the one that did it for me. So pretty fond memories of that bike. Yamaha, Yamaha never let me down. You know, I had, I've had a, a, a Banshee a four wheeler. I've had an R6, you know, the bullet bikes. I've had this Yamaha and uh, I've never had, I've never had any problem when I had 
you know, a new machine that somebody else hadn't already beat up, Yamaha, you know, they, they did well for me. So that's a wrap up. Um, in the comments, go ahead and let, let me know what your first bike was, what some of your experiences were, and uh, hopefully we can do some more of these video logs and, and talk, get into some other topics, you know, get, in some, get into some, uh, some pretty cool and fun topics. So until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.